everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Today on Kavanaugh's Corner, I'm going to be finishing my reviews of the Dark Knight trilogy on this new uh, Christopher Nolan 4K box that I got right here. Um, now, the last two reviews, I've uh, mentioned that I'm reviewing every movie in the Christopher Nolan box set. Going kind of in chronological order, I'm doing the first three Batman movies first, and then I'm going through the rest of the collection as they were made. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about Dark Knight Rises. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises is the third and final film in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, and I have to say it is definitely the best looking one of the bunch. Uh, it's really hard for me to say that because Batman Begins and The Dark Knight were both great, great looking films, especially on this new 4K format. They looked outstanding. But Dark Knight Rises is definitely uh, definitely the best one. This movie, this is definitely reference quality. I would have to say that the uh, entire film from beginning to end looked clear, I mean crystal, crystal clear. The IMAX scenes in this are the standout, however. Um, again, this is my review of the Ultra HD Blu-ray. That's not a review of the movie. I think the movie's outstanding. It has some flaws here and there, but... Overall, I think it's an amazing film. Uh, this 4K disc, however, is just... This is second to none. Um, this is one of the best ones I own. Uh, like I said, the IMAX scenes are hands down. They are showstopper in this. I cannot explain to you enough how amazing those scenes are. The opening sequence with Bane is a major, major standout. The underground fight scene with Bane is just absolutely amazing. I cannot explain to you how um, how much improved it is on this disc versus the regular Blu-ray. The scenes uh, with Batman at the end of the film as well, when he's flying the bat through Gotham City, those scenes, the IMAX sequences, I should say, of that part are just, uh, it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. The quality you get in this film is like nothing else I've ever seen. Uh, I've, I've been, I mean, I've been blessed with some really good looking films so far on 4K Blu-ray. This one here is a major standout. This uh, Dark Knight Rises is definitely the best of the trilogy. Much like the other two Dark Knight films, uh, this film does do the uh, aspect ratio switching. So it goes from 2x4 to 1 to the 1x78 to 1 IMAX sequences. So the whole screen is filled uh, when the IMAX sequences come up. And to some, the aspect ratio switching may be jarring. But I will say, I really like it. I think it's a really cool feature of these discs. And I have to say, when the image quality changes, you see it. I mean, it happens, and it is incredible. To go from the 35mm to the IMAX film, there is, there is definitely a jump in quality, I'd have to say. Although, the 35mm stuff, much like The Dark Knight and uh, Batman Begins, the 35mm stuff has never looked better. I mean, it is outstanding on this disc. The quality of the video, the clarity of the images, the black levels in this are basically perfect. Uh, there is no complaints I have about the entire film. Every scene looks great. I mentioned earlier that scene where uh, Bane and Batman are fighting underground. That scene is like a totally different sequence on this 4K disc. It looks stunning. And if you have a TV that does uh, do a good job of differentiating black, le uh, black levels like I have, or if you have an OLED, that is going to be a standout sequence to show off your television with. Um, it, is, it is truly, truly a masterful film, and this disc is second to none. The sound on this, as I mentioned in the other two films, as is all the movies in this Nolan set, the sound mix is the exact same as it was before. Nolan did not change anything with the sound mix, but man, does it still sound good. Uh, I, I had a few people comment on my other videos that it should have been in Dolby Atmos, and I can understand that. Um, I know like, it's definitely frustrating. You upgrade to a new disc and you don't get a new sound mix, but the sound mix is pretty damn good. And to be honest with you, I really didn't see the need to improve the sound mix at all. It still is a very, very booming 
Very clear, clear soundtrack you get on this. Hans Zimmer's score sounds absolutely amazing. The sound effects are crystal clear. And that subwoofer, man, that subwoofer was working overtime in this one, even more so than the other two films, as far as I can see. Um, they really did an outstanding job with that Dark Knight Rises 4K disc. Out of all of them, it's actually the one I would recommend the highest uh, out of the three films. It is an amazing, amazing film on 4K. The movie was already great, but it's just gotten better due to this disc. So if you can't afford the Nolan set and if you're just going to buy The Dark Knight separately, I highly recommend you buy The Dark Knight Rises. It's truly, truly a reference disc for your set, um, for your, I should say, for your home theater. If you have um, until next time, I'm Andrew Cavanaugh. Definitely go out and get that uh, Dark Knight Rises on 4K. It is amazing. Definitely worth your money and worth your time. It's a reference disc, and to be honest with you, I don't know if it's going to get any better, but we'll see you in the next one, because our next film we're going to go to is The Prestige. So I will see you next time with a review for The Prestige. Until then, I'm Andrew Cavanaugh. Take it easy.